Hello everybody, uh, it's been a while. Uh, I think the last video I uploaded was about a year ago or so. Um, I just kind of got bored of everything, so I just stopped making stuff. And uh, got caught up with other things in my life. Had a lot going on the last year, so I haven't really... I wouldn't say that I haven't had the time, I just haven't really been focused on it too much. Doing visual effects and doing video work. Um, yeah, anyway, <clears throat> enough about me. Um, today I woke up and had this idea for a shot. It's a drone that pops out of the water, has little water effects, and just kind of looks around. Super basic, super simple, um, but I guess I just wanted to do a, a quick video breakdown. Just, you know, in case I ever have, like, amnesia and I need to remember, like, what kind of shit I do for fun, you know. So, uh, I took this shot from Hawaii that I took about three years ago. It is super blurry because I did not have um, it focused, and also there was a quite a level of haze around because of the ocean um, but here's the shot here super basic um, nothing too crazy um, I guess more so I just wanted to try a water effect like water particles um, inside After Effects. I could have used another program for this, like, you know, an actual dedicated simulation program, but I'm lazy and I whipped this up in about an hour because I didn't know if I was actually going to want to follow through with it today, so that's what I did. And um, so animating this drone, super simple, super just like, I think it was like four keyframes. It really was not that difficult. Modeling it was extremely simple, texturing it extremely simple. And it looks great because it is extremely reflective and, you know, a little cheat code for 3D objects in scenes like this. If you just make it extremely reflective, it's just going to look good. The hardest part is when you have something that's not reflective and you're trying to get all the little bits and details of that. That's what makes things really difficult. So this drone was extremely easy to make. Um, what I was really trying to focus on was these water particles here, which don't even really look that good now that I'm looking at it now. But I think it's pretty pretty decent for After Effects, considering that I did this completely using Particle World or CC Particular, whatever the hell it's called. I, don't, I honestly don't remember. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into that here. So this is just the basic shot. This comes up over the, over the little island here, water falls down, and then it just kind of looks away omnisciently or whatever, you know. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and break this down here real quick. So, first of all, this is just a simple uh, color correction layer. So I've got Magic Bullet Looks with just a simple, just to kind of bring out some stuff here. Make things pop a little to fix the colors. And then on this, let's just meet this here. And this one I've got Real Smart Motion Blur, which is to add some more blur to the water particles and to the scene in general to kind of make everything mesh. And then I've got Auto Levels because I was lazy and did not want to do it myself. So yeah. Got auto levels on here just to kind of bring everything correct. Real smart motion blur and then on top of that we've got uh, magic bullet looks to make everything pop and just look a lot nicer I guess. Anyway, so this is the actual project. Ooh, my god that got really big. This is the actual project file right here. Again, super simple. Honestly I might have done a lot of redundant things because it's been a while since I've used After Effects at all. Uh, so there might be a lot of redundant editing here, but I don't care. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let me just break this down for you here. So on top of everything, or under everything, we've got the basic shot here. All right, then I've got a black solid, which I actually don't need in there anymore, so I can take that out. Then I have my element 3D later, or layer, which is where the drone is stemming from. I've got uh, four black solids with uh, CC Particle World and Gaussian Blur to blur the droplets so they're not super defined otherwise they would be super harsh lines and that's not what I wanted and I figured that using Gaussian Blur would be a simple way to get water particles or like little misty effects especially at this distance you can't really tell so it worked out and I just duplicated it about four times and offset two of them and then moved them around as you can see here by the lines here on the layer just moved them around a little bit to just add a little bit of variation and duplicating them on top of each other gave a more full water effect and if you zoom in you can really tell but from far away you really can't notice 
which is great. So just add a little bit of variation and really um, filled in a lot of the empty space. And then I have a mat here. And what I did for this was just make a mask of the island, make it white, and then just set the luminance value on this one to alpha. And the sections off this area. And then I also made sure that I had my 3D layer here. And then next I have this, and this is a very, very specific thing that I did. Um, at first, the transparency of this was non-existent, so when the drone would come up behind it, you couldn't see the drone. And it, at first I was like, you know what, whatever, but then I was like, it's really going to bother me, so I ended up going back and just creating a quick mask, made it a 3D layer, and then just set the opacity down, that way the drone can peek through it, and you can see it, and it kind of looks a little janky. Um, but it works out. So next I have my 3D camera track. Then I have my track null, which is just for the tracking data, just in case I needed to parent anything to this, I could have it. And then I have my drone null, which is what I use to control all of the uh, keyframing. And like I said, it's extremely simple. It just starts low behind the little island here. And it comes up and it's got some rotation values on there. So it looks like it's looking around. <clears throat> and since it's a drone and it's a robot it doesn't necessarily need to move super fluid and like human-like so it can be kind of janky a bit so it just works out that's why I like animating drones they're just so easy um, eventually I'm definitely going to challenge myself and do something a little more intricate in the animation department but for now I'm more focused on just like I don't know screwing around I guess anyway um, but yeah, this is basically just the shot here. Super simple. Um, I think the hardest part, in all honesty, besides getting the the drone in there to fit with the reflections, was getting all of these water particles to emit properly, because um, it's just kind of a pain in the ass, honestly. Like this is what I got for all of it. And a lot of it is just setting the birth rate correctly, so it sparks up a little bit and then falls away. And uh, it's not perfect. Well, let me just let me get rid of these other three. So this is what it was initially. Let me take off Gaussian and Blur too, and zoom in. So we have all of these little particles that are being emitted, and originally I had it so they were all super defined. And they were super liney. I don't know. I don't want to mess with it. I really don't want to mess with it <laughs> to show you guys. Um, but adding a Gaussian blur over top of that blurs that. And now you can't even really tell that what's happening. But oh, this looks like it's going to save. If we add another layer, then all of a sudden you see there's a little bit more going on. And if we add another layer, you're not going to be able to see it because it's a little lower. And then if we add another layer, now it really fills in all that extra detail. And you can see all the little particles coming off. So it just works out. Uh, I guess I could go further in depth of how I got all this to work. Because um, I accidentally created a geyser type effect, which I had to fix. Which actually is kind of nice if you're having something emerge from the water and you have to look at the water. Um, yeah, this is what I got here. So I just have the position set to right above the... Uh, the drone it's actually emitting from right here but since it squirts up and out I had to get it so then when the dome when it domes out it domes over the top so it looks like the water droplets are falling off and uh, because of that it also looks like it's falling out in front too so it works out <clears throat> the velocity is set to negative 37 gravity is super low and it was really just a lot of tweaking with this to get the right effect that I wanted so I really couldn't tell you like what any of these values mean because I wasn't really paying attention if I'm being completely honest with you. I was just kind of eyeballing it and I knew what I wanted and I knew vaguely how to get there and eventually I arrived, which is not the most uh, proficient uh, way to go about it. But, you know, it's a way. But yeah, this is the, this is the shot. Super simple to construct. I've just got the drone animated here on this null and I guess I could go into my element 3d setup here 
Oh, that's right. You're not going to be able to see it because I'm not recording it correctly. Anyway, um, the drone's super simple. It's legitimately just a sphere. And I went in and instead of adding smoothing to the text, or not to the texture, to the model, I clicked no smoothing. That way you can see all the polygons to get all the all that really cool polygon effect because I thought that looked kind of alien. And I was like, I just kind of like how that looks. Um, so I did that. And then there's a, this is just a ring and then a glow effect with the eye, which is super simple, super simple model. Like I literally did it in like five minutes, so it didn't really take that long. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I really just wanted to try a water effect inside After Effects, and I think I kind of got it. And from this distance, I think it works out. Um, I probably could have made it more full, but if you zoom back a bit, you look back, like it looks pretty good. It looks pretty decent. You know, it's just when you zoom in and look at all the fine details that you start to notice discrepancies. Um, but I don't really know anyone that's going to be like, oh, let me look at like this eighth pixel on this line of whatever, you know, so... Unless you do that, then I'm sorry. Yeah, this is the shot. It's super simple. Uh, this was it without all the color uh, correction. I'm not even going to call it color, color grading because I didn't even take any time to do that. So Yeah, it's super simple. I don't know how many times I can say that before I get tired of hearing it. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of that. It almost looks like it's breaking through ice, which is kind of cool. You know, just something for me to think about next time I want to go about doing a shot like this. Uh, I don't think I'm ever going to do another shot like this inside After Effects, if I'm being completely honest with you. Um, I think I'm just going to do it in Blender next time. And, because I know it has, like, simulation stuff that you can do. So I think I might just construct, like, a liquid simulation, and then do that, and then export that, and then uh, co composite it in After Effects. I think that'd just be way easier. But yeah, this is the shot. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, this wasn't really much at all. I haven't uploaded anything in like a year. Um, I'm just bored today. Don't have much to do. I got everything I needed to do done. So, whip this up in about an hour. But, um, <clears throat> I don't know what I'm going to upload again next. I don't really have anything that I want to do. But I am having a lot of fun just messing around doing any of these visual effects stuff. So I guess, let me just open this up to you guys. If any of you guys want or need any sort of like visual effects thing for a video, just hit me up. I'm not going to do it for free. Um, but depending on the complexity, we could probably land on a reasonable price. I'm not really worried about money or anything, but I don't want to be like wasting my time doing doing stuff for free. So, yeah, we'll figure that out, I guess. Anyway, this has been dragged on for way too long and I guarantee you nobody's gonna watch this so anyway it looks like we're gonna save again thank god anyway yeah I will talk to you guys later